Aloha. Aloha. I want to welcome you to our launch. This is, uh, my name is Ira Ono, and uh, I'm the owner and the curator of Volcano Garden Arts. And um, I've lived in Volcano for 30 years, and I've seen lots of changes. And uh, the one that we're experiencing in the last two months is big. <laughs> it kind of changes everything. But I'm very excited. Uh, I'm an optimist. Most of the folks that have businesses here are also optimists. We've seen a lot of changes. It's, uh, and over the years, uh, Volcano Village and the surrounding area and businesses have really prospered. And we would like that to continue. And that's what this today is about. Um, uh, the history that I'll tell you about me, because it's kind of interesting, we all have our stories and histories, isn't it true? And all of a sudden we wind up on a mountaintop next to a an active volcano. Pretty cool. Yeah. What have we learned? People from all over the world are very interested in the educational aspect of volcano, of volcanoes. What else is great about us? We're in the United States. You don't have to go anywhere else. And also, what people don't re realize and what we're trying to educate people about is the volcanoes that live here are actually called shield volcanoes, which means in general, they kind of bubble up and then go to the sea. Uh, unlike Mount St. Helens, which explodes and gases everyone to death. Isn't that great? <laughs> I'm just giving you a little example of why. And when I first, uh, I'm a New Yorker, came to Maui on a vacation many years ago, and was there for 14 years. It was a lovely experience, but by 1980, Maui got discovered. And as an artist, I'm a, really a full-time artist, I really, really don't work for anyone else except myself, uh, I couldn't afford to live there. And someone told me, you know, Ira, you should think of Volcano. Why? Number one, there's a lovely artist community. And number two, land was quite reasonable. And as a starving artist, it was perfect. So that's just what happened. In 1980, I moved lock, stock, and barrel and moved into Volcano Village, where I lived in a tent. And then after that, a platform with the tent. And then soon after, some friends built a little hovel for me. And I got to live in the forest with no flush toilet, no running water, and I had a piece of the rock. And for someone like myself, coming from uh, a New Yorker, this is big. Imagine owning uh, a property and, and cultivating it, etc. So uh, Volcano is a wonderful artist community, and it's a wonderful cultural asset. And many, uh, as you know, many uh, Hawaiian people come up to visit Manapele and, and do offerings, etc. It's just been a fabulous experience living here. Uh, and um, I can't afford to move back to Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, do know that, I'll tell you the history of Volcano Garden Arts. Uh, as an artist, I was always moving and finding studio space. And then I learned we had, uh, I was with a collaborative of, of artists and I had, we had a space down the road and I needed to find another place. And someone said, you know, there's a beautiful old Kama'aina home at the end of Old Volcano Road. And I'd never been down this road. I've lived here for 25 years. I took my bike, came down to this property, and it was a teardown. It was really quite funky. In fact, the owners called it, and the people, the tenants called it the house of leaks. Because when it rained, every place you, you needed something to hold water with. And uh, I was here for a year, the original family, it's from 1908, decided to sell the property. And they knew I would be a good caretaker. And so we did an agreement of, for three years, and it took a year and a half to get a special use permit for what you see today. And here it is 15 years later, and we're still in business. Uh, what I love about this property and what we do here, uh, first of all, I consider myself a caretaker. And we have over a hundred local artists from all over the state. 
uh, and I love sending my friends, which most of them are, checks every month. So it really has uh, been a very fulfilling experience. I also get to do art here, because as I mentioned, I'm uh, a full-time artist. And um, after y this presentation, please come in and explore the gallery, uh, and you'll see my work and uh, over a hundred other artists. So I'm really glad that everyone is here. It's a typical volcano day, but it's warm, and there's no wind. And uh, I want to thank you for coming. And if you have any questions, please let any of us know. Uh, and we'd love to answer. And I'm just so pleased to see what this event has brought us. The event from Miss Paley, that is. All these lovely people, our community, which we always knew each other and said hello and interacted. All of a sudden, this phenomena has brought us all together in a very positive way. And I couldn't be happier. And I want to introduce Janet, and she's with uh, with the uh, what's your what's your where are you again? <laughs> uh, she's with Killaway Lodge, and here she is. Thank you. Hi, aloha everyone. Um, like I was saying, my name is Janet uh, from Killaway Lodge, and I'm here to kind of talk a little bit about about why is now a good time to be coming to Volcano and experiencing Volcano. On an island where you have so many places to stay, the ultimate place really here is Volcano. Volcano is the perfect home base. We're just 35 minutes from Hilo, 35 minutes from Punalu'u Black Sand Beach, and all the wonderful attractions in between. Uh, Volcano is the authentic Big Island experience. Unlike the resorts, we have our native birds up here, cool temperatures, uh, quietness, and of course our beautiful rainforests. Uh, one can truly get back to nature when they're here in Volcano. Uh, looking for that unique Hawaiian adventure, nothing beats that uh, our volcano earthquakes or earth shakes that are going on right now. You know. Um, even though Halima'uma'u, you can't get up there and see, and the park is closed, we can definitely feel what's going on. And that's all part of being on an active volcano. So, um, even more so, come up and, and check it out. For those that are doing around the island treks, Volcano makes a perfect uh, stopping spot. You know, we've got, again, wonderful art galleries up here. There's gift shops, a quilting store, uh, we've got world-class restaurants, fabulous accommodations, a golf course, orchid farm, and the southernmost winery of the United States. I get calls at work often asking if it's safe to come up here and what's happening with the eruption. And, you know, I let them know, even though the park is closed and they can't get into the park up here, we do have the Kahuku unit, you know, down the road. Um, and, we're, and we are nowhere near the active volcano. That is nearly 30 miles away down in Lower Puna along the coast. So by all means, come up. Uh, we're fortunate that our air quality up here is better than many parts of the Big Island. For the most part, our air is very good, except for those occasional days that we get our bog and, and uh, the trade winds tend to shift on us. Um, <laughs> and again, earthquakes. We, we do have earthquakes or earth shakes mm -hmm. happening. And it seems like a lot of the residents and guests are kind of just rolling with it, you know. Uh, we're not going anywhere and hopefully, you know, at some point it will settle down. So, I mean, when you're up here in the volcano area, this is a great time to come. You know, we're experiencing history right now on what's happening up here. And uh, we just need to let, let your everybody knows that Businesses are open, we're open for business, and you know, come up and experience everything that Madame Pele has to offer us here. So, anyways, aloha and mahalo. I appreciate the five second advance notice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like it that well because I'm gonna tell you exactly what I was thinking. We're coming here and that's why <coughs> I uh, seem rude because she couldn't hear me, so I had to talk louder. 
And I just told her, come to Volcano. You'll love it. I think my wife will tell you that uh, I'm not a very strong person inside for a lot of things. I was fortunate enough to buy a place in 1971 called the Wild Pie Ponds. And believe it or not, at that time, nobody was interested in those lots. Just for local people to buy a place and go fishing. In 1975, we had that earthquake. <coughs> yeah, the whole place sank uh, two to three feet and created uh, a bigger tidal pools. Uh, I want to tell you what I'm all talking about here and what was there and what's here walking in there, even thinking that of you, Brad Lewis, when I first met you, thinking, God, I hope this jerk don't give me a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was filming. i seen that scene a thousand times where people sipping quiet, right, remember, by the pond, by the ocean. And I asked him, and not to disturb them, to leave them alone in their peace of, of their memories and the quiet of saying goodbye to something very special that only people like you will understand. I was, I'm sitting next to Nishi, and I told him that if you don't step out of Hilo and you don't see things, like what we see and feel here. I'll show you a weakness. I was lucky enough to buy an acre of lot in Hilo for Sunrise Estates when the economy was really down. So you could buy it at a really good price and plan to sell my one and only home and double mortgage and all those typical things. But it's full of Ohia trees. And when my neighbors would start to bulldoze the trees, I would leave. I honestly felt like I was hearing over here trees cry. And I didn't want to be around. And could not understand why people would literally bulldoze every tree. I mean every tree. And not see the beauty of the over here trees. I don't have to explain that to any of you here, especially for someone from New York. <laughs> I was wondering where you were from. I was going to ask you before I left. And you found paradise. I found wild pie, cleaned a lot with my hands. I named my fish, gave them names, even the corals. And when I was told that the love was hidden that way, I knew at that time that I was going to lose the most beautiful place on God's earth next to yours. <laughs> Where we all think our place is the most beautiful. And I'll tell you something that I haven't said to anyone in public because I really feel an attachment to a lot of things. About a year ago, I told my wife in a morning kitchen table, and she knows these things happened to me. I said, I had a very, very ugly and funny feeling that I know is of truth. And I told her, I will never have an opportunity to stay at the beach house again. And the sunrise and the sunset and the beautiful coral. At the time, we thought that I was going to die before I would have an opportunity for that. So my wife said, then we better not go. We'll just go during the day. Because she felt that if we planned to go there, I would die that day before. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but you got to understand, I'm not all there sometimes. <laughs> and we didn't go. And when this eruption occurred at Leilani, I knew that was it. I don't have to explain uh, the pain. I don't have to explain anything to any of you. 
I don't even waste my time talking to people in Hilo about it because I don't know what they feel. I know how some of them feel, but I know how this group feels. I thank you for who you are. I thank you for appreciating you know, nature's beauty that she gives us. And this is the first time since the eruption I feel good about Volcano because of what you said. So thank you very much. You got a great update. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, um, Mayor, for coming up and really enjoying and taking the time. We know you're busy with your busy schedule. So, and thank you for inviting the missus <laughs> to come up here as well. Um, I am just going to close it out um, by just saying thank you again. Mahalo for coming up. Please go next door and enjoy the poopoos that um, Ira Ona's uh, uh, cafe has um, did for us and then please don't hesitate to stop and ask our members questions they can fill you in or even tell you about their businesses and what we're all doing thank you for coming